Also, we're going to do this a little bit different today. Uh, this is a Easter Easter Sunday, uh, and this is generally acknowledged. I mean, people have a dispute of when Jesus was born. You know, well, the 25th of December, which is a cold climate in the Northern Hemisphere, and, and uh, Jesus was born in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, so, uh, so, but generally it's acknowledged that the 25th of December was a, was a pagan holiday, and then the Christians or the whoever, the, it was a political move to make Jesus' birthday at that particular point. But uh, because of other historical facts, in terms of, you know, when, when spring, the spring, whatever have you. So basically Easter is supposed to be the, the first, uh, the first full moon after, you know, after, after, after the spring or something like that. Uh, you can look that up. I'm, I'm not really a, a biblical scholar. I, I'm just reading out of the color Bible. Uh, anyway, so when I look at that, uh, and I hung out in, in, in the eighties with, with Lloyd Strayhorn, you know, numbers and you, and also I have a passing interest in the, in the Rosicrucian, uh, uh, order, order, order. It's like, you know, it's like a, one of those secret societies, you know, and, and secret society back then, it just mean that people could read, people who could read and have books, and most of, most everybody was illiterate, they just, well, they talked to each other, they, they read books. Um, so, but, but, but the Rosicrucians have this thing, have a lot of things, but one of the things they have is that they break up your, your calendar year, if you, your cal, a, a calendar year, in terms of, uh, uh, well, they have, uh, it's basically seven, I think it's seven, yeah, seven sections of 52 days each. And like, so if you have your birthday, then 52 days uh, before your birthday would be what's called your crucial cycle. The crucial cycle is when things happen, you know. Uh, and one of the things that happens usually, a lot of people uh, p make transition, uh, you know, have a going home, a homecoming. Uh, they die. <laughs> uh, uh, before their birthday, now, that 52-day period before their birthday. You'll, you'll notice that a lot. And so I'm looking at that, I go like, well, that means that Jesus basically was, for me, is a six. Because in numerology, a six, I won't go into the other numbers, but six is the number for education. And make, they make good students and good teachers. So for me, Jesus is a teacher. I know, you I mean, You can be a mystic or whatever, you know, you can be a seven or a nine. You know, but I, I choose, I, I think it's Jesus is a teacher. Or the purported Jesus. Uh, I don't know what the historical. I don't, well, there's a dispute with all that stuff. So, uh, so for me, he's born on the on the uh, uh, basically the fifteenth of May. Now you can say, well, six. Well, why couldn't it be the sixth of May? Well, I choose the fifteenth, right? Because uh, because I like that. Actually, I like that because one is like a, a leader, you know, a leader, and and uh, five is excess. So I have that teacher in there, and then I can include that. That you know, being the the guy, <laughs> yeah, or the, the teacher, the sensei, the you know, the leader, or and also you know, excess. And so to me, that's what it was. So, uh, so that's that. So that's my conjecture. I just want to throw it out because it's, it's Easter, right? So now we can officially start our what we do every morning. And oh, for that, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to basically read a little bit longer than I usually do. Oh, one other thing. As you know, this is a well. This is a reading from the New Testament as interpreted or as translated from the King James Version, you know, of the, of the Holy Bible. And this is the, the Gullah, the Gullah Cultures Bible. This is uh, the Gullah Bible. So uh, usually I just, we just go and pick anything, but I, I, I pre-picked it today. Why? Because, well, it's a special day and we're talking about Jesus. Well, they say justice. So we're going to uh, page 844, Revelations 1. Sorry, I always do this. I put my glass on. I can't read <laughs> without them. Well, I can read without them. Um, and so we're going to do, uh, let's do uh, 14, 14 and 15. And this is the Revelations again, 1, 14 and 15, page 844. Ied and Ied. Be, um, been white like wool, white just like snow. And the eye shine like fire. Uh, the been bright. The foot been shine just like brass, and they been bun in the furnace, and then shine them up. And the 
and he bothers and he and his voice loud just like a uh, hip of water okay so that was a uh, 14 to uh, 14 and 15 so let's do the translation the old english you know marlowe you know kind of thing you know shakespeare time uh, let's say 14 yeah his head and his hairs were white like wool as snow as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass as if they were burnt in a furnace and his voice was in his voice as sound of many waters okay So let's let's do it. We always do it twice. We always read it twice. Uh, so fourteen and fifteen. He air, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he head and he air, and sorry. Uh, he head and he hair, been white like wool, white just like snow, and he eye shine out like fire, the burn bright. He foot been a shine just like brass with the been bun in the furnace and the shine them up and he and he boasts and he boasts loud just like a heap of water again the translation 14 and 15 of revelations one his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow, and his eyes were as f a flame of fire. Fifteen, and his feet were un were in his feet like unto fine brass, as if they were burnt in a furnace, and his voice as a sound of many waters. Huh. There you go. I almost feel like reading this a another time. Why not? It's Easter. It's special. Hey, you know, it's also, you know, digital, so you could just ignore this, right? Uh, I do these readings, by the way, only because uh, I, I, it's like a, I come from, I come from a Gullah, or at least my paternal side, from a Gullah or Geechee uh, background. This my, my great, great, grand, well, yeah, my great, yeah, my great, great grandfather uh, was Gullah Geechee, and he was married to a, a Mohawk. So I've been trying to do this thing, like if when the slaves were free, you know, when they wanted to learn how to read, what did they do, you know? So the only reading material they really usually had around was the Bible, at least it's a common thing. And so, you know, what, what, what was, what's it like to read it, something that you know nothing about or try to? So that's what Gullah's like for me. So I'm going through this experience just to feel what it's like to learn. <laughs> okay, so we said 14 and 15. Uh, he had an air been white like wool, white just like snow, and the eyes shine out like fire, they burn bright. He foot, this is 15, he foot been a shine just like brass, with the way, with they been burnt in the furnace, and they shine them up, and a, and a voice loud as like a heap, like a heap of water. Hmm. So, let's read it again. Let's do the translation again for you. His head and hairs were white, just like um, white, like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Fifteen, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they were burnt in the furnace, and his voice as as a sound of many waters. I'll tell you, all. a reading. From me, T from the Pattersons taking the trench to bet, letting you know what I what I only suspect.